Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how to simulate 4-way traffic signal on Proteus 8.9 simulator. I have used the same program that I have used on Arduino board. The link of that video is given in description. For this, these two software must be installed on your system. For this, we need following components. LEDs, 4 number of red, 4 number yellow and 4 number of green LEDs. Register either 220 or 330 on 12 pieces. Arduino UNO and ground. Uh, these components are uh, obtained through two different modes in Proteus. So I have used here two modes of Proteus. Proteus component mode. Uh, from this uh, mode, we get Arduino LEDs and register. And second mode, terminal mode. For, from this uh, mode, we get ground. So all these components are available on our Proteus 8.9. Uh, for this, I have used four different uh, arrays: V1, V2, V3, V4. Uh, V1 is root 1, V2 is root 2, V3 is root 3, and V4 is root 4. The size of each array is 3, and uh, all first pin. These are the pins of Arduino. You know, all first pins in each uh, array uh, is used for red LEDs and second number of uh, pins in each array is used for yellow LEDs and uh, third one is used for green LEDs in each row. Uh, in wired setup, I have used two loop. In the first loop, all pins of each way or root are set as output pins. So I have used pin mode W1I output, W2I output, pin mode W3I output, W4I output and I varies from 0 to 2. So, first LEDs that is uh, W10, W20, W30, W40 indicates red. Similarly, uh, index number 1 indicates yellow and index number 2 indicates green LED. All LEDs are set as output. To set this uh, output, I have used pin mode command of Proteus. In the second loop of uh, wired setup, all pins of each way or root are set as low or off. Pin status, I have used digital write W1i uh, as previous and W2i, W3. 3i w4i low i varies from 0 to 2 in wide loop i have used four sections uh, one section for root 1 or v1 in v1 green led of v is high and red leds of all other ways are high for 5 seconds uh, for 5 seconds, I have used command delay 5000. 1000 is used for 1 second. I have used 5000, so it will uh, remain on for 5 seconds. And to make it high, I have used the command digital right. So, uh, first root is uh, on, green LED is on and all other red LEDs are on. After 5 seconds, uh, yellow LED of root 1 or V1 is high and uh, red LEDs of all other ways are high for 2 seconds. And same concept is used for V2, V3, V2, V3 and V4. In each, I have used first uh, green LED on and uh, rest all LEDs of rest uh, ways are high for 5 seconds. And uh, after 5 seconds, yellow LED of that root is high and all other red LEDs are high for 2 seconds. After that, I have uh, made all LEDs low. So, this is the program for 4-way traffic. Six. Pin connections, short pin of all LEDs are grounded. V1, Arduino pin 13 is attached with long pin of red LEDs along with register. Arduino pin number 12 is attached with long pin of yellow LED along with register. And Arduino pin number 11 is attached with long pin of green LED along with register. And same concept is used for all other root or ways. For root 2, Arduino pin number Arduino pin number 10 is attached with long pin of red LED along with register. Arduino pin 9 is used long pin of yellow LED with along with register. Arduino pin number 8 is attached with long pin of green LED along with register. For root 3, uh, Arduino pin number 7 is attached with long pin of red LED along with register. Arduino pin number 6 is attached with long pin of yellow LED along with register. Arduino pin number 5 is attached with long pin of green LED along with register and uh, for root 4 Arduino pin number 4 is attached with long pin of red LEDs along with register uh, Arduino pin 3 is attached with long pin of yellow LED along with register and uh, Arduino pin number 2 is attached with long pin of green LED along with register so the, these are the pin con connections I have shown here the circuit of 4-way traffic signal this is our Arduino board first one is this is root 1 or v1 this is root 1 or v1 this is root 2 or v2 this is root 3 or v3 this one is root 4 or v4 
in each way or route i have used i have used three leds first is red second one is yellow and third one is green in each route first is always red second one is yellow third is in third first is red second yellow third green in fourth route first first red second yellow and third green and each uh, led is uh, attached with one register of 220 either 220 ohm or 330 ohm this is the symbol of register the long pin of each led is attached with register and short pin of led is attached with ground so the all short pin of this first uh, root is attached with this ground and all short pin of these three leds are attached with this ground and in way 3 all short pin of these three led is attached with this ground and for way 4 all short pin of all these three leds are uh, attached with this ground and this is the connection of all leds uh, to simulate it uh, i want to show the way how to bring the components on our arduino drawing board for this i open the proteus 8.9 simulator this is the icon of proteus 8.9 simulator i double click on this proteus 8.9 it will take some time this is the screen of uh, proteus 8.9 uh, to design the circuit i use this schematic capture so i click here on schematic capture this is the second screen where we will design our circuit to design our circuit first we bring the all components for this first i use this component mode this is our second icon of this uh, left side is our component mode so i click on this after that i click on p it will show a next uh, window uh, here in keyword text i type arduino it will show the list uh, among this uh, list i double click on this samilino uno to uh, bring the arduino in our project it comes in this window then again i type led in keyword it will show the list of all LEDs. Among this, I select the LED red active. To select it, uh, I click on, I double click on this message. It is selected. Then I select on yellow. To select this, I double click on LED yellow. It is selected. Then I click on green, LED green. So double click on this. All these three are come in our this window. Now, uh, we click on Samilino UNO Arduino and uh, double click in this window area where we want to bring it. It comes here. Then I select on red LED by clicking on uh, LED red and double click on this area. After clicking this, I press mouse right button on this icon and uh, click on anti clock. Click on anti clock. Now the left side uh, pin is long pin and the right side pin is Sort. Similarly, I select yellow LED in device window and double click on this place. Then press mouse right button and uh, click on rotate anti-clockwise. Left side pin becomes anode and right side pin becomes cathode that is ground. Then I click on red LED and double click on this area. Then press mouse right button for rotate in anti-clockwise. Uh, now for ground we click on terminal mode this is the icon of terminal mode so i click on this terminal mode it will show the different components among them i select ground and i place it here by double clicking then press mouse right button to rotate it rotate anti-clockwise the left side pin is uh, now anode and right side pin is cathode then i connect it Now one component is also required that is register. Uh, to bring the register, I click on component mode and then click P and in keyword text, I type register. Press enter key. Now register component is available in device window. So I click this one time and uh, double click at this place to bring it. Then again select register and uh, place it in this place by double clicking again select register and double click at this place now three registers are in our drawing window now connect this register with this led uh, next work is to change the 
value of register. To change the value of register, I select that register and press mouse right button on it. Then click on edit properties and replace the 10k value to 220. By default, it is 10k. So to make it 220, I type here 220 and then press OK. The same work is done for every register. Select second register, press mouse right, right button, then click on edit properties and uh, change its value 10k to 220 ohm, then press OK. Select third register, press mouse right button, then click on edit properties, change it to 220, then press OK. All the registers becomes of 220. Then connect this 13 number pin with, with this register. Then 12 number pin with this register 2 and uh, 11 number pin with this register 3. Uh, all connections are done for root 1. Similarly, we do for root 2, root 3 and root 4. After uh, drawing all uh, root, one uh, work is uh, left and that is we load the hex code of the program in this uh, Arduino UNO board. To load a hex program, first we uh, go to Arduino IDE and open it, then type the program. To generate uh, hex code, I open the Arduino IDE by clicking this icon, type the program that I have shown the uh, shown in slide and that program is written here then uh, I, ver I verify this command this is the same program that I have shown on slide uh, only comment is not present here to verify it I click this uh, right icon if there will be any error that error will be displayed in this bottom area but uh, here is no any error I can generate the hex code first type the program in Arduino IDE then save it to save it I go to my PC then document Arduino and save at this place it will be saved in the folder the name of folder will be it same as the name of file document Arduino this is the folder where uh, that program is saved generally the file name and folder name are same in Arduino whatever the name of file that uh, name will be that name will be also the name of folder so that program is saved here now uh, we again open our Arduino IDE to generate the hex to generate the hex code I click on sketch then click export compile file it is generating the hex code move to the folder where the program is saved and uh, at this place we see here two extra file is generated first is four way traffic signal on Proteus 8.9 INO standard hex and second one is four way traffic signal on Proteus 8.9 INO with bootloader standard hex we need second one this second one is required to Proteus we again open the Proteus open our project I have already design the circuit and to load a hex code I select this Arduino board and double click on this Arduino it will open new window in this window move to the program file and then click on this icon then select your hex code to select our hex code first I click this PC then uh, documents and uh, after that Arduino and the uh, folder where this uh, hex code is stored. Our hex code is stored in 4-way traffic signal on Proteus 8.9 folder. So I click on this then I click uh, this uh, first first file 4-way traffic signal on Proteus 8.9 dot ino standard hex. Open it then press ok. Now this uh, Arduino board, Arduino board is loaded with hex file. After this, 
I click on run button. In Proteus, this is the run button. I click on this run button. First route green LED on, rest 3 red LEDs on. After 5 seconds, this uh, yellow LED on and rest 3 red LEDs on. Red 2 green on, rest 3 red LEDs on. Red 2 yellow on, rest 3 red LEDs off. Root 3 green on, rest 3 red LEDs on. Hello on, rest 3 red LEDs on. Green on, rest 3 LEDs on. Hello on, rest 3 red LEDs on. Then again root 1 green on, rest 3 red LEDs on. So it will continue. To stop this uh, simulator, I click on stop button. This is the stop button. Thank you.